Okay, so let's take a look. Let's actually start organizing this. Let's create a network box here and we will call this the Apex Control Rig and let's make it light red. We'll call this Apex Control Rig Setup. And I was using underscores instead of spaces. So let's keep that going. I believe I was at least. Let's look over here. Oh, I was just using camel casing. Let's see. Nope, <laughs> it's a mix. Okay, cool. So we have the Apex control rig and we've set up the IK for the arms and legs. And we've also set up the FK. Let's set up some controls so that way we can start getting the setup working and we're going to start with the IK controls. So let's do Apex configure controls and then let's visualize this. We're going to click plus and then here let's do right now we can look at the list over here. Let's do the IK handle. So I'm going to take that and I'll do that. And actually, we'll do this right here. Okay, so that way it'll set up these controls for all the IK handles. Shape override right here. I'm going to select it. And let's create a torus. So we have that torus set up here. So that looks good. I want to set up a rotation on these. So... Use shape offset, rotate, and it is not going to be 90, I don't think. Nope. 90. Nope. Last one. Z. 90. There we go. So we are set up properly here. And let's do L underscore, underscore L. That way we're only doing the left side and I can do the colors. So for the left side, I'm going to set up color. And let's have it be a blue. There we go. So let's look in the scene animate here. And we are not getting the controls here. We can see that we're configuring the controls just fine when we get it here. So we're getting the controls, but the scene animate is where we are having some issues. So. Let's reset all. There we go. When we reset all, we're getting all of our controls again. Great. So we should be able to select that control in the scene animate now and move it. Boom. So my IK is on the left hand side. I'm going to add circles and I am going to have them, or not circles, but torses. And then I am also going to have them be blue. And then I can go into configure controls here. I can add another one. I know I'm going to copy this and I'm going to do that. But this is going to be for the right side shape override. We are going to do the torus. And then we are going to do the shape offset. And on this shape offset, we're going to rotate 90 degrees on the Z and then on the color so use color we're going to change that to be red cool so my left is blue my right side is red and then let's set up the pole vector controls so I'm just gonna create both of them right now so let's find the pole vectors they're towards the bottom the elbow pole vector and I'm going to do that. And I'll put a star there. Okay. And then shape override. So for the shape override, let's use... Oh, let's go into the shape override. Let's look at the shapes that we can use. I'm going to use a... I want a star. I think that works. We'll use a star. And then this is the left side. So for color, we'll set that up as blue. And 
and then we will get these controls over here and this time instead of L we're gonna do R use shape override and oh let's do a star here so that way we get the knee also and then over here on the elbow as well so we can see that it automatically sets up the knee too the shape override we're gonna do star and then color override we are going to set up a red color cool so we have our IK controls here we can move them we can select them and rotate them with the pull vector boom, boom. cool we're only getting a double image just because I had the wrong nodes selected there you go it all there we go okay so i have all of the ik controls set up we can do fk but i'm going to wait on the fk for a little bit so that way we can set things up as we need to let's go here and just visualize that cool so that is our setup right now i'm gonna do Control S to save, and we will see you guys in the next video.